This guy went from living in this. Throw me. Throw him as high as I can. You're not supposed to bottle feed them. They'll fly all the way back. They be possums. Kevin's attacking that guy over there. Skip it up and down. Oh boy, the 30th bunny we've got. Oh, it's a beautiful foggy morning today. And Kevin's real, real. I art heard. I got this guy biting my foot. Watch this, you guys. If I just pick him up and I just throw him as high as I can, he'll fly all the way back to the pond. Look at that beautiful and kevin just wants to hurt me all right it's 7 30 on a saturday morning look at this you guys it's nice and foggy i never would have been able to experience this if i didn't wake up so early okay one more throw one more throw uh -huh. but kevin's attacking that guy over there and it's so foggy right now that you can't even see the sun look at that go ahead and look directly at the sun you guys oh you will like and subscribe oh, to the urban rescue, rescue branch. branch look at that for three hours in real life and then get back to watching this video as you guys can see we are almost done building this little barrier wall oh what's this a duck <laughs> But Arthur is now almost a full healthy weight. And look at this, guys. Even this tree is starting to bloom again. And even get little flowers. But as you guys can see, Arthur is now almost a full healthy weight. So we are going to be rehoming Arthur to another equine sanctuary that can finish the job. And though I do love Arthur very dearly, she's a 25 plus year old horse that needs to be with friends for the last 10 years or so of her life. And now that she's back to decent health, we can send her to another another equine facility where she can hopefully frolic and run around with other horses. Would you like to be with some horse friends again, Arthur? But I have about 15 people asking me for her now, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and rehome Arthur, even though we love her. Quit nibbling my foot, boy. And Arthur's gonna have at least 40 acres of pasture where she can run around with other horses. Which, in my opinion, is a pretty solid retirement plan. But I am gonna miss this beautiful boy because she was my first ever hosey. Not to mention that she converted me and this whole channel into a horse girl show for a few days. Hey, quit yapping over there. I'm filming. But please go in the comments and wish Arthur good luck at her new sanctuary. This is what she used to look like when she just came in. And this is what she looks like now. Not too bad. Particularly for a 25 plus year old horse with teeth that were falling out. Good morning, da baby. And you know what? Before she goes, I think I'll ride her around for 13 hours tonight. All right, everybody. Good morning. I have some things I'm going to give to my little Nutria boy. Nibblerton is in here now. And Kevin's son is being extra cringe today. You know what? Why not just let this precious little fella out? Come on out, buddy. I think he's just amazed that I actually let him out. But as you guys can see, Nibblerton now lives in here with a little friend. Another person brought this little creature in and he's a little bit more cringe than Nibblerton. But they are cute and they run around in here and swim in their little pool. What do you think, little fellow? But Soldier Boy is so much more friendly than Kevin. Especially when I feed him like this. All right, everybody, this is kind of nasty. And I don't have anybody helping me today, but we got three baby feral hogs. I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of them. I also got another squirrel and six of these teeny tiny baby possums. And they are very cold. So I crank this bad boy up to 92 and they're gonna be just fine in this incubator Unlike those possums feral pigs, especially babies are very easy. You literally just make them a protein shake I just use ultra 24 milk replacer. I put it in here with a shaker cup I shake it up like I would protein look at those crocs and I just pour it in here for these little goobers You're not supposed to bottle feed them. This one thinks that its brother's ear is its teeth I'm gonna be separating this little bowl, but a mulcher apparently hit their mama and they still have their umbilical cords on them. But I need to separate these guys and let them feed one at a time or else they will bite each other's ears off trying to nurse. There it is, you guys. I'm going to move them over there into that barn pretty soon. But it's nice and warm outside. These guys will be happy out here with some sunlight. And Kevin's being cringe per usual. But he has this whole little area to drink and eat and graze. Look at this little goober. He's saying, what are you waiting for, Dad? Throw me in the air. He's saying, what are you waiting for, Papa? Throw me. Come on. But there it is, you guys. The finished Eagle Flight Pen. I just need them to come back and put that dang fire hose back up they took down but there it is one final look this little guy won't stop biting me but now the eagles are able to fly down here land here or loop around i believe this is the only 200 foot flight pen anywhere in the state of texas ever heard of it yeah i need to get those guys back here so they can put that hose and this hose back up but look at that beautiful and if we ever want to take this thing down it won't be hard to do and we can repurpose
use this wood to make a fence. No, oh, now he flew into this pond and he's eating all the fish. Well, at least he looks happy. And now that these guys are done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and move the kangaroos back into there. But look at that. From here, you can see both sides just fine, but the eagle will still have privacy. And we just got these little bunnies in. Oh boy. But I'm officially starting to get inundated now, you guys. We now have a ton of different species in here. I'm gonna rehome these cats today. Later that day. Oh boy, the 30th bunny we've gotten this week. Sure hope you survive, little one. Okay, guys, it's Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, I just got a grackle at the Crunch Fitness. Uh, we actually have people coming and dropping animals off for us while we're lifting. It's actually mid-set. I said, can you meet me at the Crunch Fitness? Now I'm gonna show you guys how to eat a grackle. Hey guys, this is gonna be our mid-workout snack. This is a grackle. We're gonna see what's wrong with them. See, he's a beautiful little fellow. Looks like he was attacked by a cat, like a kestrel or something. And because half the animals that are coming in have to be euthanized anyway, uh, statistically, because that's what actually happens when you're a real wildlife rehab and you take in every animal. Yeah, uh, we can just eat him right here. But after a quick mid-workout snack, I went ahead and got back to my workout. I do 10 sets of these uh, every day, and that's how I get so big. But look at this little fella eating his bread soup. All right, everybody, it's a Saturday night, and I've spent it building this so this little creature can be comfortable. Also, look how sick this is. I, it was broken, but I wanted it to be broken. So Uncle Ben got a nice little discount, but take a look at this, you guys. This is a beautiful little reticulated python. Come on, buddy, quit being so dang tanky. And you can tell he already appreciates this way more than what he used to have. All right, everybody, I gave these little nibblertons their final dewormers. And these are the two that I think I'm going to be keeping, but we'll see. Whatever. Maybe I'm just going to eat them. Who knows? You guys can see I just cleaned this place all by myself. Hey, look at this little bun bug. <laughs> all right, everybody. Things are nice and clean in here. And check this out. This is how I've been feeding these dinguses. I have to separate them because they'll kill each other. But I found a good home for one of these little blackertons. Even though they are feral hog babies, they are basically just pigs. Legally, you don't need any permits to take care of them. I'm going to go ahead and give these to a friend. But if you guys are wondering, now I just have Soldier Boy and Karen here, and Kevin has to watch them live together. And these two adorable females just have free range of the entire back of the property. But as you can see, this little guy is friendly. He'll let me pet him. Oh, he's so soft. And this is what Kevin would look like if he was friendly, you guys. As you guys can see, I finally tamed Kevin. He's all tame and friendly now. Also, him and Homeland are friendly with each other because they grew up together. But if this was Kevin, he would be trying to attack this beautiful little ostrich. Board. But because these guys grew up together, they don't have any beef with each other. And notice how she doesn't even peck at him or anything like that, but she'll be pecking at me if I put my hand here. As you guys can see, these adorable little babies are my children and I have raised them. Because I spent so much time with them when they are little, they are now friendly and adorable. If this was Kevin, he would be just attacking Homeland or trying to grab at him and making him bleed. And we don't want that at all. So this is kind of the perfect layout for now at least. And also, these cappies are trying to kill each other. But he will follow me around with his mouth open and be all creepy. But look at this, you guys. Now that I've given these guys more space, there's been fights breaking out between Kumala and Quandale. So at least for a little bit, I might have to separate him from the herd as well. Also, that's a little anthill, buddy. Get off that. But as you guys can see, this little guy has some scars. So I'm going to scare him into here with Kevin. Look at that. Even this little guy's getting attacked by the females now. They've probably had enough of him. So I'm going to put him in here with Kevin for now. And then I'll probably move him out into the back. At least now they can't pick fights with each other anymore all right everybody i'm finally done it is 9 30 on sunday night this is what i do when i'm bored take a look at that you guys this has everything for that little fella to be comfortable in here for a while i think he's really gonna love it in here and for now this is all i have for water that's gonna be fine uv lighting a nice little cactus and all of this including a hide but guys take a look at this this is the reticulated python now if you guys remember here's a clip of what his old enclosure looked like at his previous own Owners. This python had been kept in this enclosure for the last eight months without being handled or removed or cleaned. Although at one point this enclosure would have been really cool, it looks like he had outgrown it and pooped all over it. Obviously, this little adorable creature is going to be very, very happy in here. And with this nice little outlet here and a water feature we're getting from Universal Rocks, this little guy will have heated water and a filter that he can swim in at any time. Just look at this beautiful snake. And this is what the actual wild reticulated python looks like, you guys. This is a wild type. It's not some fancy special breed. I'm going to have to get that shed off his eye. But look how cute he is. See, guys, he's just a cute little danger noodle. And those bugs really add a nice touch. You know what we're going to have to 
sand in here. Isn't that fun? All right, everybody. Right now I'm mixing the sand and the soil because you want a little bit of soil in here for them to be able to burrow. These little fellas are just killing each other in here. Oh, no, no. Look how happy he is. It's so cool that he can just climb along the whole side. All right, everybody. I'm finally done cleaning this little place here. I got a lot done tonight. Take a look at this. I decorated this entire little area here. And I made a little Dr. Plants inspired enclosure here. Very based if I do say so myself, but we don't have anything in here right now. But this is a really nice little setup and I think whatever we put in here is gonna be very happy. But the most important thing is that this guy is already happy. As you can see, he's already destroying the vines that I hung up there, but at least he's happy. This guy went from living in this to living in this, and he just fell from here. He just knocked it over. Ninja, a uh, little half blind snake. And it's only 1.30, you guys. That's not bad at all. Good night, you guys. Okay, and with this, the reptile room is finally complete. But check this out, you guys. Wow, it's finally done. And here's the two tibbies I decided to keep, you guys. I'm still thinking about eating them, so don't get too attached. That's it for now, you guys. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot. To tell ya. This one stinks. I'm just gonna eat this one. Ah!